Only whiteness stands in the way. Scientific racism is deeper than simple prejudice. It is the use of science to justify the dominance of one group over another group. Only whiteness stands in the way. It's not really about color, though it's called racism. Instead, it's about power. Only whiteness stands in the way. About power. Only whiteness stands in the way. It's about power. Only whiteness. Medical professionals. It's about power. Only whiteness stands in the way. It's about how only whiteness stands in the way. It's about how only whiteness stands in the way. It's about power. Only whiteness stands in the way. It's about power. Only whiteness stands in the way. Critical race theory. Only whiteness stands in the way. It's about power. Only whiteness stands in the way. It's racism. Only whiteness stands in the way. Not neo racist. Only whiteness stands in the way. Reverse racism. Only whiteness stands in the way. And those are meaningless terms. Race hate. This is what CRT looks and sounds like in practice. Have you heard about critical race theory? I'm guessing you probably have. The most important thing about you is your race. White people are racist. You're always going to be racist, actually. The most important thing about you is your race. That y'all are born into a life. The most important thing about you is your race. To not be human. The most important thing about you is your race. To be demons. The most important thing about you is your race. White people are all racist. The most important thing about you is your race. White people are all racist. The color of your skin. White people are all racist. That's who you are. I can watch this a hundred times. White people are all racist. Not your behavior, not your values. I can watch this a hundred times. Not your environment, your race. People, white people have been like, uh, we're oppre oppressors. Yes, yes. Arrogant really confident or certain um defensive and 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 dumb like white people are dumb i'm stooping up in my chair Joe, because i'm getting upset a racist isn't not racist it is anti-racist that is the thing like if you truly believe that why didn't go to north korea opposite of racist isn't not racist if they didn't stay and i I hope that there's a one day we can switch these people. The opposite of racist isn't not racist. And the people who we can accept those people who can actually appreciate what this country stands for. The opposite of racist isn't not racist. Can you define critical race theory? The opposite of racist isn't not racist. It's an attempt to use race. The opposite of racist isn't not racist. For redefining our society. The opposite of racist isn't not racist. In other words, it's a bunch of garbage. In other words, it's a bunch of garbage. In other words, it's a bunch of garbage. We actually do have an ideological frame. Um, myself and Alicia in particular are trained organizers. Um, we uh, are trained Marxists. In other words, we uh, are trained Marxists. It's a bunch of garbage. We uh, are trained Marxists. We uh, are trained Marxists. We uh, are trained Marxists. Are you proud to be an American? No. I hope that there's a one day we can switch these people. I feel embarrassed to be an American. If you truly believe that why didn't go to North Korea? Every day. That why didn't go to North Korea? I think a lot of things about this country are really embarrassing. And the people we can accept those people who can actually appreciate what this country stands for. Just like, I mean, racist history. That's a completely lie. The colonization. I hope that there's a one day we can switch these people. Proud of what? And what is there to be proud about if you're black? This is the only country that I saw people complain so much about it and refuse to leave. Right? In North Korea, it was actually an oppressive regime and that's why I escaped it in my life. I did everything I can to be free and escaped. These people who complain how oppressive and systemically corrupt this country is, they are not leaving this country, they are staying here. State after state, Fox News and Republicans, conservatives have whipped up a moral panic about so-called critical race theory. It's a bunch of garbage. This is just the latest outrage device over at Fox, is it not? It's a bunch of garbage. The bad faith effort by Republicans to... It's a bunch of garbage. ...make critical race theory a wedge issue. It's a bunch of garbage. By the way, critical race theory is enormously useful. It's a bunch of garbage. It's a graduate level construct. It's not taught in K through 12. That's a completely lie. Again, 
It is not being taught in grade school. That's a completely lie. No one is teaching critical race theory K through 12. That's a completely lie. No. Just to be clear, can you just repeat it? It is a law school test. That's a completely lie. What is critical race theory? It's a bunch of garbage. What is critical race theory? It's a bunch of garbage. I suspect it's not as major an issue. That's a completely lie. As we've made it out to be in the media. It's a bunch of garbage. What even is critical race theory? It's a bunch of garbage. Nobody knows. It's too high level. And did I hear Chris Hayes say so-called critical race theory? Chris, the right didn't come up with that name. The academics you're defending did. You see what they're doing here, right? They're basically defining critical race theory as this extremely niche, high-level academic theory so they can claim that kids aren't learning it in school. But they can define it however they want. But to the average person, critical race theory is a catch-all term for all the familiar 1619 project type ideas. No politics in school. White privilege. No politics in school. Institutional instruction. No politics in school. Structural racism. No politics in school. The idea that America is. No politics in school. Inherently racist. No politics in school. You get the idea. No politics in school. Are kids being taught that? No politics in school. In school? Absolutely. No politics in school. Unequivocally, yes. No politics in school. Joy Reid may not think so. No politics in school. But the teachers sure do. No politics in school. Racism is systematic. To be honest, after enduring a year of so it's impossible for the people in charge be systematically racist to white people telling me that I'm a racist. Teaching that systemic racism and I'm privileged exists and pointing out our irreversible differences isn't in itself I've never noticed race more. A racist practice. That is the first step toward healing, which this it's a bunch of garbage country desperately needs. No politics in school. I am part of the bunch of garbage equity and racial justice team. It's cold new curriculum. Come on, man. That is unwhitewashed. What are we talking about? These children's quote unquote history books. Come on, man. Are so problematic. Come on, man. Even though I'm a kindergarten teacher, no politics in school. I am very active. Come on, man. In education reform. Come on, man. In honor of the anniversary of George Floyd's death, no politics in school. Let's have a hot take on education. Come on, man. Let's talk about how schools, come on, man. Marginalize African American students. Come on, man. There is going to be, a, come on, man. A right side of history. Wrong. And a wrong side of history it happens to be wrong when you stay out of it wrong, wrong, wrong. you're on the wrong side huh sure sounds like they're talking about critical race theory and that is the thing like if you truly believe that why didn't go to north korea they don't leave they, they stay and i i hope that there's a one day we can switch these people